All right, do you have questions on homework? Valerie, can you be my poker and a shooter and kind of answer these questions, these dumb questions? Like, is this going to be in the packet tomorrow? Oh, okay. Hello, tomorrow is chapter one. We started chapter two today. What packets are you going to have tomorrow? Whoa, we are right on track now. Nice. Okay, go, Zara. Okay, again, people, listen up. Shh. I'm still teaching, okay? There are still people who want to learn. For those of you who don't, there's work to do. So, ask up. Okay, number 53, page 70. Uh, it tells you verify whether this function is one to one or not, right? Algebraically. And it's telling you that x has got to be greater than negative 3. Okay? All right, so remember what algebraically means. You're going to take fa, and you plug it in, and you're going to get a plus 3 squared. You're going to take fb, plug it in, and you're going to get that. And you're going to set the two equal. And then you're going to take square roots on both sides, right? Now, when you take square roots on both sides, on the one side, you will have to put because if you don't, then it's like doing this, right? Scratching your ear from that side and from this side. It doesn't. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? A plus and minus here and a plus and minus there, they'll cancel, right? So it's it's totally useless. You know what I'm saying? You're kind of doing this stuff. So that doesn't make sense. Do it on one side. So if you go with a plus sign, then you get an A equals B. Okay, Sona and Mariam, you need to be working. If you go with a minus sign, then it becomes A plus 3 equals minus B minus 3. Is everybody with me on that? And then you get uh, A plus B equals negative 6. Okay? Uh, so you've got two possible answers here. Except you've got this condition here. Okay, both A and B have to be greater than negative 3. Okay, both A and B have to be greater than negative 3. So, sorry? Greater than or equal. Greater than or equal. Okay. Um, and then you've got this condition here. A plus B is equal to negative 6. Okay. So, if I were to choose, uh, let's say, let, let's say if I make A is equal, let's say if I make A is equal to, uh, sorry, B is equal to uh, negative 4. Right, because it's got to be greater than negative 3, so let's make it negative 2. Okay, so what's A equal to? What's A equal to? Negative 4. Is that greater than negative 3? Negative 4 is greater than negative 3? No. So this cannot be. There's only one answer. There's only one answer. So if there's only one answer, it becomes 1 to 1. Okay? And then they tell you to verify your answer graphically. So let's go do that. Okay, let's go do that. Uh, you've got y is equal to x plus 3 squared. Right? So you're going to graph that. I need to change my window again. I'm going to make it standard first, okay? And then I'll work with it. Okay. 
Okay, there it is. Except we need to fix this guy. It tells you that x is greater than uh, negative 3. x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So what do you think we should do on the calculator? So, uh, you could do that. OK, you could do that. You could actually fix it from the window as well, either way. So I'm going to, uh, let's do it the way you're suggesting. That's OK. That's cool. And then, nice, good job. Uh, we should have had, wait a minute. You need to put a you need to put an X in there first. Number four, negative three. Is this one to one or not? How can you tell graphically it's one to one? Amy, are you working or are you not? You've got a freaking test tomorrow, a whole chapter test. Packets are due. I don't understand this, okay? There's no downtime. Good job. If you draw a horizontal line, it crosses the graph only at one place. So we did it algebraically and we verified graphically. Okay? All right. Surbeer, do you have work to do? Do it. <laughs>